Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today we will be looking at some Infinity Miniatures from Corvus Belli. Uh, they're the three that I showed a while ago. Uh, they're from the, well two of them are from the starter pack and a third is a mercenary pilot. So uh, if you'd like to come down to the to the bench we'll have a quick look at these, these figures and uh, it's nice to see them complete. Uh, they have still got to have a, a layer of varnish on them yet but um, you know for all intents and purposes they're there and I've primed and put an airbrush around uh, the next two figures that I want to do um, just to put some pre-shading into them before I actually start brush painting them so uh, catch me down at the bench in a minute. The Tubesters, thanks for joining me at the bench uh, we'll have a look at these figures uh, the, the first two I'll show you were uh, second hand figures and uh, the third one um, I bought myself uh, I've just given the. Let me just see if we can get this under the light a bit better. Sorry for the jiggly hands. Let's just see if we can get a bit more light on the subject. Here we go. Right, um, the using orange, as far as I can see, tends to be a bit more yellowy than mine. And the first ones I ever did, I did do them more yellow. But I think now with the, uh, the white pre shading I'm doing, it's given them a lot more uh, brightness to them so I'm just um, keeping them a, a, a darker orange and then using the white to really make them uh, pop out a bit more there's still yellow in there but it's not as as bright as uh, as maybe the Corvus belly ones these are one of your foot soldiers Uh, the uh, bases and uh, the resin bases I've bought and they're on a, a, a review as well if you go to my playlist from a while back finally using them uh, I again pre-shaded them and base, based them with uh, an airbrush and then uh, used the brush to put in some more, some more uh, shades and details and there you go that's number one. Here's number two. I really like the, as I said to you guys before, the, the obviously manga feel to these. Uh, this one was already on a base. I regret not taking it off the base and, you know, cutting it away. It was already glued in and that. Um, and I thought, oh, all the, all the ones that are pre-based, I'm just going to put like I've made a bit of rubble up. Well, not rubble, but <laughs> what if you want to call it debris uh, from bits of sprue and that. I'm just giving them a dry brush. I wanted to use this like uh, this this ready brownie look, um, just because I thought it showed the orange off a lot better. But again, beautiful figures, really, really nice. I've gone darker at the base, obviously, and put where the where the light's hitting the top of the figure more. Um, I've I've shaded and pre-shaded the the lower part, of the legs, and whatever. So that's my other foot soldier, and this is uh, Joe Scarface Turner. He's although he's in the using orange, uh, which I got from the the actual card. That's the display card for the for the box itself uh, he's actually a mercenary so he can obviously go with whoever he wants to again on another resin base again the, the bases are just I've just done them simple I'm really just tr learning to use my airbrush without it clogging up and I've actually <laughs> for a change the last few weeks I've managed to actually when I have used it it's I've, I've seemed to have hit the right ratios at the moment so but yeah, that's my Joe Scarface Turner. Again, really enjoyed painting him. Really, really enjoyed it. And again, just use like non-metallic metals. So that's my Infinity figures, my one mercenary and my two Yu Jing. I'll just give you a a quick squeeze at 
a couple that I'm about to start on. As I said, I appreciated these guys today. I'll see if I can let's just get this foot soldier in comparison. So he's a, a fair bit bigger. And that's what I mean by my appreciating. I've lost my pointy stick for a moment. So I've, I use um, brown, flat brown, to do my shade work for orange. Or right, obviously a lot. Of, you know, some of these other ones like the sold the foot soldiers, they've got a lot of that that greeny blue in. But you know what I mean. So I pre-shade with uh, with with flat brown, and then put white on top, at varying varying angles and uh, density. Obviously, where I really want the 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 orange to really uh, pop, it's a lot more. Uh, a lot more white if that makes sense rather than the icing sugar effect as I call it further down where this where obviously it starts going into shadow so I've got that guy and then I've got this uh, next one up in size let me just uh, go back on this guy a bit get him in made a right cock up here these antennae that stick out at the back I actually thought were because there was no obviously you only get the artwork on the front or the, the photograph of the, the one miniature on the front and uh, I honestly thought that these were actually just bits of off cards <laughs> so I cut them off I was cursing as I was you know hacking through them and I've had to re-stick them on uh, they attach to the side of the pack in, in here so I've actually pinned those because uh, you've got to take the weight of the machine gun and whatever. And the sensors on his other shoulder. But again, I don't know if you can see the... It's a bit hard when they're not really there. But again, the size difference in in that guy. Quite weighty as it's solid metal. So there are some photographs at the end uh, of the painted figures. I just thought, well, while I've uh, shown the painted ones and it's an infinity and it's all, you know, using more or less, I, uh, I'd show you these guys as well because hopefully at some stage they'll start getting uh, the old orange works on them. Although I think it's going to take me a lot longer with the amount. Of, I did think of maybe trying to get the airbrush on them, but I'm not that good at airbrushing to, uh, to airbrush a figure. A night, maybe a, a big square surface, but not a, not a figure. I don't mind doing some pre shading, but that, that's about it for me. So guys, thanks a lot for stopping by and taking a look. I hope everything's going well with you and it doesn't take you as long to get to your orange mix as it took me to get to mine. And we'll catch each other very soon on another video. Cheers.